Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm reviewing a game that has giant robots destroying things on the Sega Genesis. How could this possibly be bad? It's Final Zone on the Sega Genesis. That's a tricky question, more challenging to answer than you might think, because Final Zone isn't good. It's not a terribly well-made game, but at the same time, it's likable because it has a lot of style and it's on the Sega Genesis. So for fans of the Genesis, we have giant robots destroying things. And for fans of Sega's Genesis or Mega Drive, that's always a good thing, but don't go into this expecting a terrific game. It simulates the experience of wandering through an open-world environment, but really what you're doing is walking through a randomized map until certain things just happen automatically. Final Zone is very clever in that it gives you the feeling that you're searching for enemies to destroy, but actually you're just blowing them up in the same order each time, more or less. Something that was not apparent to me when I rented this game back in the early 90s, but these days it's painfully obvious. Yes, I played this one way back when, and have fond memories of it, and I can see why. It looks really cool. And marvel at these cool futuristic weapons that I can equip, all of which do pretty much the exact same thing. The fact is, your standard machine gun is the best tool for the job. So here's what you do. You wander around until you've destroyed the required number of enemies, and move on to a boss battle. Try not to get destroyed, score points, and move on to the next one. If you do blow up, there's continues. That's the game, and while Final Zone looks neat, you've really got to appreciate games like Desert Strike that do this a lot better. But it's kind of quirky, and one of these games that you can only find on the Sega Genesis. This brings me back to the days when I would really look forward to slow down in video games, because it gives me more time to react. In fact, if you just machine gun the whole time the game runs at half speed. Oh look, we're in a subterranean cavern blowing up gun turrets. How about another funny boss name? Spider Web, even though Spider Web looks more like a giant robot spider. So maybe they should have just called it Giant Robot Spider with lasers. Final Zone is the final word in substandard robot games on the Sega Genesis. I'm not going to recommend it, but I can't prevent you from buying it either because it does have giant robots on the Sega Genesis. A huge thanks to our friend George from New Brunswick, New Jersey, for sending this to the show, bringing back some fond memories of giant robots destroying things on my Sega Genesis. Clumsy controls, lots of slowdown, and things that look way cooler than they actually are. Final. Zone appears to be the final game in the series, unlike Final Fantasy, which arguably could learn something from this one because it has giant robots destroying things on the Sega Genesis. It's amazing how forgivable everything else can be when it just has that.